Hey guys, this is uh, HD Polar Bear here, bringing you another S StarCraft 2 replay. This replay is from the replay pack BlizzCon 2010, and this is round number one. Uh, all my BlizzCon games have been in round number one, and and this is also in round number one, as I previously stated. Uh, we have some interesting games uh, after after these these ones. We have Select TLO and and many other great players but let's get at the game at hand we have uh, Dimaga the, which is ranked number 11 and he is from Ukraine and we have the Terran player Maka Prime ranked number 50 and he is from South Korea uh, I'm not sure if you guys uh, re uh, notice that but uh, I'm a bit sick at the moment so I have my my teacup ready if my th throat gets too try it out so do not get surprised if I take one or two sips um, and uh, my th my uh, my voice could also just get a bit weird at times hope you forgive that because I just was dying to cast this game and I can't help myself so we have uh, Dimaka here He's going out with double of uh, two overlords and uh, one overlord here at the uh, crystal caverns w or something at the uh, he here down and I think this overlord will stay somewhere around here probably close to this Selnaka tower to see it and we have uh, a second overlord just chilling here and we see a small skirmish here I did not notice that until now but uh, this SUV is being as painful as he can for the uh, third player and just dying there because um, he was denying Dimaka his expansion so maybe Dimaka wanted to go for 14 pool into 14 uh, I mean 14 hatchery into 14 pool see I can uh, like mess up like that my brain is not functioning uh, like it normally does and we have uh, Maka Prime here uh, and he's just uh, getting the tackle up and he's wh what's what's happening here he's uh, throwing down a bunker at Demarcus natural. I think this is going to be denied. Not sure. Maybe if he has his second SUV here and with good micro he can get this bunker up and this might be crucial if he manages to get one or two marines inside this bunker. And the bunker actually gets up and is alive and one marine trying desperately get to get inside this bunker into the safety of the the rocks and walls that the bunker provides but how many kills is the bunker going to is the marine going to get inside this, this bunker probably one circling here going down yep and second going down as well and the uh, the, the SUV trying to repair good micro here just le letting the marine go uh, SUV going inside the bunker and out out again but uh, I actually don't believe that the bunker managed to get a lot of kills there and let's look at the production uh, the units lost tab is L let's use that L and we have here yeah actually Marco Prime did lose more than the Maka at this uh, this uh, harass bunker harass here and the one Reaper running about uh, probably going to force the Maka to get the metabolic boost but now we are not uh, seeing Reapers a lot lately and and uh, as a Zerg you're going up to go for roaches a lot more than you did previous because of the plus one range so they have a total of four now and we do not see a lot of Hydralisk play we only see roaches because roaches do have the, their range now and probably going to go for some roach muta play or something like that or even just roach bandings Depending of if uh, Maka Prime is going for the starport, he's going for that uh, now. So it's 1-1-1 one, one, one build for Maka Prime into uh, a command center. So he wants to get his his uh, natural up and running and n not a bad idea here because the Maka already has his natural and you don't want to be too much behind from the Sir player. So either you're going for a full out one base tactic and trying to end things early or you will macro up as the Sir does as well. So we see the circlings here chilling at the Selenaka tower. I think they should perhaps go out and about trying to scout and such. And this uh, Reaper here is extremely good against uh, the circlings. I think they can two shot or am I wrong? No, they cannot two, two shot. They need three hits to kill it. 
the Rotsers can actually deal with uh, this uh, and the Reaper is going to die he needed to jump on the high ground to be able to safely get away we see the Ma uh, Maka Prime here switching the starport with the factory on the tack lab so we are indeed seeing Banshees Banshees are fairly good against the Rotsers and also good to try to maintain some sort of map control and of course this map is Selnaka Caverns and uh, not a big map here. There's a sm there's a small gap between the bases, so the uh, opting for some sort of early harass is good idea in this map. I do believe no gas at the natural for Demaka, so not uh, relying on gas too heavily. And we see yeah, the lair just popping out there. And uh, Baka Prime trying to secure his natural. The circling is going to see this. Uh, this uh, here and uh, maybe Demarca is going to try to stop this this um, natural to to get saturated but uh, we have uh, Maka Prime putting out a bunker here at the front ramp so maybe he will no we see yeah we see some kind of aggression from Demarca trying to do some but uh, yeah Maka Prime can't just lift this off because uh, there is no units here from Demarca that can hit there and this Banshees have just free license to kill uh, uninterrupted because uh, Rotsers can of course not hit air their uh, acid does not uh, if they would spew in the air it would just hit themselves so they probably learned from the experience somewhere that they only cause damage to themselves trying to do that and we have a lot of speedlings here trying to are they trying to go in nope they did not get in Marker Prime did actually m manage to get three Marauders here and and stop the aggression from the speedlings but the speedlings did actually manage and this bunker needs to be cancelled not sure if he managed to cancel that and the orbital command keep being harassed just left and right S and uh, but this banshee has uh, four kills already so it has been very cost efficient to get these banshees they do good damage and a second banshee out and about and we see here uh, we see just heavy drone heavy drone manufacturers uh, we mean, I mean, uh, Demaka just manufacturing drones like there's no tomorrow. And let's look at the units. He has 41 drones, and Maka Prime only has f 29 SCVs. This uh, is not necessarily that much of a difference because uh, Maka Prime has two orbitals, and the mules are so insanely good. And this fancy just keeping keep up keep up the harass and uh, the annoyance. Let's look at the productions again. We see an uh, infestation pit being made from Demarca, so are we going to see some infestors and some fungal growth play? That would be awesome. We see seeds attack being made from uh, Maka Prime, and seeds is of course insanely good against both circlings, banelings, and uh, roadses, so good attack option there. And two Banshees just uh, moving out and actually missing that. Uh, the sne this sneaky roads managed to get away alive with 8 health. Uh, he needs to get uh, some metal for that and we see the two Banshees going into the Zerg space trying to do some bad damage but Demaka has four Queens and Queens are actually insanely good against air or insanely well uh, if you look at their cost 150 minerals then we can say that they are pretty good against air we have here one spore crawler. Does he have at the main? Yes, he Demaga has two spore crawlers defending the mineral lines. And it seems that Demaga is going to try to 